I'm sure by now you're well aware of Parfums de Marly Layton. This is, in fact, one of the most popular PDM releases. This is one of the ones that really put them on the map. It got a ton of hype and still to this day is talked about a lot. And for good reason. This is a fantastic scent. It's niche, but it's not niche, if you understand what I'm saying. That's the main argument you'll see a lot of people make. Just not necessarily with this one only, but with Parfums de Marly as a whole. And there's a few other niche brands out there that kind of get labeled in, the, in a similar way where they're a niche brand, but they don't necessarily have the same tropes as a, a true niche fragrance where it's super challenging and has a ton of oud and is something that you know might not work well in your typical day-to-day -day scenario. So you would think that would be a good thing, but a lot of people say that that's a bad thing. So it just depends on what you're looking for. If you're wanting a scent that's wearable uh, for pretty much any time of the year, but especially for the cooler months of the year, fall and winter time, Layton is a great option. It's a big people pleaser, so it gets great compliments. It has great performance, great quality, and just smells amazing. I love it. The problem with this is that it is still, in fact, niche. And so with that comes a high price tag. Uh, retail is, I think, 350 or something like that. Anymore, this is getting a little bit tougher to get below that. A lot of discounters are just pricing them at right around retail for some reason. So, you know, it's making it harder and harder to get for a reasonable price and a reasonable price for Layton and a lot of PDMs are usually around 180 for 125 ml. Anything under 200, you're gonna be doing pretty good. That's a lot of money. That's where clones come into play. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at five of the best Parfums de Marly Layton clones ranked based on performance. So this is yet another buying guide style video. I've done this before with Aventus clones and I figured Layton should be up next. So at the very beginning of the video here, we're starting at the bottom of the list in terms of performance. This is gonna perform the worst. As we go on, they're gonna get better. And I will say this, none of these perform horribly. You know, none of these are bad. Uh, there's just a few that do a lot better. And these are not the only Layton clones out there as well, but these are some of the more popular ones that you would hear about often. Okay, let's get things kicked off with Lalique White and Black. This is actually marketed as a limited edition. How true that is, I don't know. How limited it's going to be, I also don't know. So this could be around for, you know, who knows, another couple years maybe, or maybe another couple months. I've got no idea. Um, this one, it has the apple, the cinnamon, the tonka, the vanilla, all of that stuff smells like Layton. And it's one of those deals where if you've smelled Layton and you have any sort of experience with it, and then you go and you give this one a spray, you'll tell that there is a big correlation between the two. And it works really well. It definitely gets close to that DNA at a price of around $40, so very reasonable. Uh, I guess the only downside to this one would be that it just doesn't have as good of performance as some of the others that we're gonna talk about, um, but that's about it. Still a good alternative if you want something that smells similar to Layton, and maybe you want it from a designer brand rather than a clone brand if that's something that you would care about. And by the way, I will link all of these down below to discounters as well. When I'm talking about prices, these are only gonna be available on discounters pretty much. You can't go out and buy clones, you know, from clone brands at retailers. Doesn't happen. Maybe you can get the Lalique at retailers somewhere, but I wouldn't do that. I also have a mailing list you can sign up to. I send out uh, notifications on rare, discontinued fragrance restocks, great deals, new releases, hitting discounters below retail. Also notify you guys on any big 48 hour flash sales and things like that. So if you wanna be the first to know about all that, get on the mailing list and texting list down below. All right, next up, we actually have another designer brand, interestingly enough, and then from here on out, it's gonna be all clone brands. So uh, this one is Tommy Hilfiger Impact Intense. So one little thing I always have to point out about the Impact bottles is this right here. I'm gonna try to do this without sending it flying. For so many, this is just a gimmick and it's kind of goofy. And for a lot of us, it probably is because we're probably not gonna be taking this along with us. But uh, you gotta admit, that's clever and I don't think I've really seen that done too many other times, if not ever but it's pretty cool. So this one here does give off that latent smell. Now I will say this one maybe drifts a little bit further from the DNA compared to some of the others. Has some chestnut in here. You have three different types of cedar wood 
interestingly enough. And then some vanilla, tonka, spices, all of that stuff. This one's kind of like Leighton mixed with a little bit of Stronger With You, you know, intensely, the original, whatever, that chestnut accord. It's kind of how I look at it. But I do really like it a lot, and it does give off that Leighton smell just with a little bit of an alternative twist. And so it's kind of why I wanted to throw this one in as well. If you're someone who has Leighton, maybe you have a couple of the clones as well, you want something just with a little bit of a, a variety, a little bit of a a different style, but still kind of maintaining somewhat that DNA, this is something you could go for. I really like the chestnut in here. It works really well, and that's kind of what's giving it that unique twist and, and separating it a little bit from Leighton itself. But you can definitely tell that they were pulling inspiration from Leighton and maybe from something like Stronger With You or something along those lines. It does smell great. This is yet another one where it's gonna get you great compliments. It's gonna be wearable in a lot of situations as long as it's a little bit cold outside. Uh, this is something that is super easy to pull off. Uh, this one also has okay performance, but again, it's not amazing. It's not the best. It's, I don't know, six and a half, maybe seven hours, somewhere around in there. Nothing to write home about. But also, for the price, it's not horrible either. All right, now we have all clone brands from here on out. Number three, we have Maison Alhambra Laden. Yes, Laden. You can see that on the bottom there. Um, definitely going after the presentation here, if you couldn't tell. Um, and this is a good way to go simply for people who prioritize presentation. Because, and I've talked about this before, a lot of clone brands will have presentations or bottles that look a bit tacky and don't line up with your designer you know, bottles sitting on your shelf. And so oftentimes you might find yourself kind of putting those clone bottles in the back, kind of hiding them because it kind of ruins the aesthetic you have going on. And what happens when you do that? Then you forget that it's back there and then you hardly ever wear it. It's not really something you have to worry about here with Layden. So, um, yep, they got the bottle down pretty good if we put up uh, Layden side by side. Pretty good job. <laughs> you got to give them credit. Um, pretty close in terms of, ooh, that could have been bad. Pretty close in terms of the shade of blue and, and the kind of matte finish. It has that textured kind of feel. Um, gotta be careful with these PDMs. They're very top heavy. That cap is heavy. This one is not. Cheaper cap on this, not surprisingly, but yeah. So pretty cool. Um, this one also smells a lot like Layton, okay? Layton smells like Layton. <laughs> you just get the typical uh, notes and smells that you get in Layton. You know, I'm, I don't want to sit here and describe the smell with each one of these. That would get boring, but it smells like Layton. Sweet, spicy, a little bit fruity. Um, uh, smells like the season of fall and winter. So again, if you're after presentation, this might be one that you want to look into. Uh, also has better performance than the last two that we covered, but it doesn't have as good a performance as the next ones that we're gonna be going for. And for me, these last two that we're gonna be covering are my two favorite Leighton clones. Like I said, all of them in this video are good. I think these next two are the very best on the market. So again, it just comes down to deciding what is important to you. And we're gonna talk about all of this as well because we're gonna be going over performance here, of course, but also uh, price, quality, and then presentation. So I'll wrap everything up at the very end of the video, but let's go ahead and knock these two out. Number two, we have Alharmain Detour Noir. Of course, it had to be in here. This one is going to be essentially one of the most affordable Leighton clones, or at least within this video, but also just out there in general, about $30, 100 mil, okay? Very, very competitive price. A lot of the others are 40 or more, okay? So great price on this one and smells pretty much dead on. It, one of the closest closest ones out there. You get some of that menthol off the top that Leighton also has. Dries down to a nice, sweet, creamy vanilla tonka. Some of the cinnamon off the rip as well. Some of the apple, a little bit of a fruitiness. This smells amazing. And it is impressive how close this one is given the price point. And also the quality. It is smooth. It's not synthetic and cheap and harsh off the opening. Like this is almost astonishing, just how good of a scent it is for almost a dirt cheap price. Performance on this one is about eight, 
eight and a half hours or so, give or take, at least on me, sometimes a bit less, sometimes a bit more. You guys know the drill. Uh, the colder it's going to be outside, the more that's going to limit performance, not just on this, but everything, right? Cold weather, it's going to kind of muffle things and you know it's it's going to require more sprays the colder it gets um, but for the price point incredible performance uh, this is going to be one of the most budget friendly pdm latent clones out there and more on that in a minute and at number one we have amber oud exclusive blue by amber oud interestingly enough you know these are not al haramain it's very bizarre i don't know what exactly happened there and uh, yeah, just Amber Oud. Now this is going to be the most expensive one in this video and probably one of the most expensive Leighton clones out there in general. Um, and I would have to double check because they don't even have any writing on this bottle. It's not 100 mils. I think it might be 60, maybe. Yeah, that's probably about 60. There's not a ton in there. You can see this is all dead space, just glass. The level starts right there, so probably about 60 mils, and it's about 60 bucks. So price per milliliter is significantly higher than these others. You know, Alhara Main is 30 bucks, 100 mil, that's a big difference. This one does have the best performance of the list. This is a nine, 10 plus hour scent, very strong. It has the best quality as well, okay? It is premium. I'm not gonna say it's as good as Layton, right? That would be a bit of a stretch, but it rivals a lot of, you know, 40, 50, 60 dollar designer sets in terms of quality. Like it is really good and very impressive. And then also just, of course, how close is it to Layton? It's very close. It has some of that menthol like we were talking about with Detour Noir, which some of the other clones did lack a little bit. So it does smell very authentic, um, dries down the same way, progresses very similar to how Layton progresses from opening to dry down. It's just spot on. So here's what I'm gonna do really quickly to wrap this one up, okay? Um, which ones should you get? If presentation is the most important thing to you, which I kind of hope it isn't, because I think these last two that we covered are the best, but if it is, if presentation is, you know, make it or break it, then go for um, Layden by Maison Alhambra, okay? It's gonna have the bottle that looks very similar, there you go. I don't think a lot of you guys are going to be in that boat, but some of you might be, and so I want to give that to you. If you are after presentation, first and foremost, Layden. I'll show it to you one more time right here. This is the one to get, Maison Alhambra Layden. Um, it's also Latafa, so it's Latafa Maison Alhambra. So it's from a big, you know, clone brand. You know, this is just one of their little kind of uh, extra lines, different brands, whatever, but it's the same thing this is what you would go for. This is not the best clone, okay? It's just not, but it does have the presentation for you. Okay, now getting into the important stuff, okay? If you are on a budget, you know, you're not wanting to spend a lot of money, you're wanting to stretch your dollar as far as you can go, Detour Noir is the only one you should consider, hands down, that's it. Get this one, 30 bucks, 100 milliliters, you can spray it on heavily, and you're not gonna burn a hole through your wallet, okay? Great one to go for if you're on a budget and you still get great performance and great quality to match. And finally, if you are the type that has to have the best of the best, you know, and maybe if you were, you would just buy Layton itself, but if you're still on a budget, right, you don't want to buy Layton, but you still want the best clone that's out there, get Amber Oud Exclusive Blue, okay? It's gonna have the best performance, best quality, all of that good stuff, and the presentation is, I would say, a bit better than something like Detour Noir. Um, but that's of course all subjective. Doesn't really matter all that much, but this would be the most premium clone. Maybe you already have Layton, but you don't wanna burn through it and spend all that money. Maybe you want something that you could you know, wear just on a daily basis uh, as a signature scent. Instead of using your actual bottle and you want the best of the best, Amber Oud Exclusive Blue, it's still gonna end up costing you quite a bit less than wearing the real one every day, day in and day out. Okay guys, that's gonna do it. Um, the best PDM Layton clones ranked by performance. Again, I'll link these down below, so if you are interested, you can pick these up at the prices I've been talking about. Um, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.